What's happening, sports fans? We got another great top recruit to talk to. Alonzo Richardson from Helix is joining us. And this guy is uh he's committed to SDSU, but he might have to be committed to swag you or fit you, probably as this generation would say, based off of the chain that I'm seeing there in the corner. Thank you very much for being on with this man. Uh let's start with that commitment. SDSU, the Aztecs, you are staying local. Why? Mm. Well, when I was younger, my grandpa, he had, like, season tickets when I was, like, five or six. And I kind of didn't even realize it was, like, Steven Stockford's, like, his senior year. And I didn't really pay attention to, like, watching the games. But, like, as I grew older, we went to more games, like, every year. So, I mean, it was kind of a dream to go there, and they made it happen. Okay, so it's the dream to go there, and you just, and you finally— The dream get... to go to college, yeah. Just... Okay, the dream to go to college— SDSU is is one of the schools that you're really interested in. Yeah. Um, so what was the what was the what were the emotions when you finally got that offer from SDSU? Oh, I was excited. I was like relieved because like I don't know. I've been working working hard enough to get you know get some looks at. They've been looking at me for a while too. So I mean, I don't know, speechless. I guess when you lean in like that, we're kind of losing the top half of your head a little okay. bit. There okay. we go. Perfect. Okay. All right. Um, so you, you've got the offer, uh, you, you've decided to go, I mean, that has to take kind of a weight off of the rest of high school, right? Like everyone yeah. else around you is kind of stressing about all these college applications and you're like, you know what, I've got it all figured out. Yeah. Um, that has, I mean, it, it, cause that's not just high school's years worth of work. That's a lifetime. That's little league. Yeah. That's everything finally paying off. I'm sure there was all sorts of people also who helped you along that journey. So I'm sure the whole family kind of enjoyed that. Yes, like, they're, like, my family's, like, my biggest supporters, too, so, like, it was, like, exciting for them as well as me, because, like, I don't know, I, I was, like, because, like, in the family, like, they want to see you do good, so just seeing that going play baseball at a college for four years is something. And you're going to be local, and yes. they're going to be able to still see you, and I'm sure <laughs> that has everybody excited. Yeah, like, at my high school games, there's, like, 15, 20 people at each game, at least, like. They just show up, and then I can just see them in a the crowd, like just a section of them, like just all of them there. Do you have a lucky section? Are are you like I like them sitting behind first base? I do better when they're on the third base side. No, get them out to right um, field. Is are you that kind of a superstitious baseball player? Is there no no like because like the bleachers are just only like behind home plate, so like they all sit like like I've noticed they sit like in the bottom like left row, or like they might sit on like on top two like where they stand up, but they're all. In the bottom left corner, I which I see. So bottom left corner, SDSU, get that cleared out. Get that yeah. cleared out. The bottom left corner <laughs> of those bleachers behind home plate. Leave yeah. a couple of seats. That's where the successful mojo is, right in that in that little spot yes. there. Yeah. Um, I've always I've always argued we are a baseball and softball town, and everything else is second. Like it is our best sport far and away. So for you, with your experiences you've had on varsity for these four years playing at such a high level you feel like you're kind of ready to make that jump up to the next level yes um yeah i don't know <laughs> yeah like i am let's just you know these high school these four years you know it's been training me to where i want to be and i i'll be ready well the competition it has, it has been tough both against you and with you. We already talked to a couple of your teammates who were you know, Jordan Thompson, most recently going to LSU. You've been around a ton of, of guys the last couple of years at Helix also going on to Division One. So I feel like even just showing up to practice has to be like, let's go, like we're all going to work right now. It's a really mm -hmm. high level of skill, even within mm -hmm. your, just your own warming up. Yeah, so, it's, it's, yeah, we, we go to practice, you know, we, we come to the work, so... What, we warm up, throw, hit, BP, all that stuff. Well, we take it seriously. So, speaking of taking it seriously, you're seriously blowing up right now. It sounds like you, you got, yeah, you got a like, bunch of tech. Like, it's kind of like I'm sitting on like it's sitting on like a jar of like chocolate. So every time it vibrates, it moves to the side. Okay, what kind of what kind of chocolate? Uh, what are, what? Your kisses. Okay, <laughs> and that's it. I think. Now is yeah. that is that yours? Or is chocolate like a snack of yours, or do you have? Are you a different kind yeah, of snack? I like I like chocolate is good. I mean, kisses, all that stuff. Like, if it was actually chocolate, if I had to choose, I'll probably pick, like... Okay, so rank us. Rank us. Top three favorite chocolates. Oh, man. I'll go from number one. For me, I'll probably choose Kit Kats, then Reese's Cups, then probably Twix, I think. 
all respectable uh, choices. Top two Reese's Cups and Kit Kats are like all, all yeah. very respectable choices. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the same kind of question, but for baseball wise, top three flavors of seeds. Oh, I like cracked pepper, is it chili lime. Yep, that one and um. Mm, I don't know. I'll probably just say ranch. Because, like, because I, I don't really choose seeds much. So, when I do, like, I, you know, it's always those two. Any funny stories you can tell us about Coach? I know, I, know, I mean, your coach is kind of kind of a, a, a character and a personality all of, his, of himself. And I'm sure you're going to miss him. So, funny, sad, happy, memorable. Any stories you want to sh- share with everybody? Um, let's think. No, I feel like we have more, like, better moments as a team but like individually try to think. Mm, no nothing that comes to mind i mean he's more he's real he, he's he's a serious dude character he, sometimes he's but. a character he's a serious i mean every coach baseball just it has enough downtime that you eventually yeah. you eventually come up with some sort of funny stuff yeah. going on uh i we asked uh i ask everybody favorite uniform that you rock of your of your schools favorite uniform mm. It was probably I kind of like the away ones we had this year because they were like brand new and we only wore them like twice. So what but were I, those? Were those gray tops with uh, the green letters? They're, no, they were like green on green. Like it, it, it sounds funky, but it was it was cool. It's the same exact uh, one that Jordan answered in, in really? terms of his favorite one, his favorite uniforms. That you guys are rocking was the green on green ones this year, and and sadly you only got to wear them a, a couple of times. Um, speaking of, I mean, it's a sad question to have to ask, but. You're the only high school seniors that have ever had your season and, and careers ended with a global pandemic, man. What has this experience been like for you? It's uh, it's hard. Mm, I mean, when it first started, when it first happened, um, it was. I mean, I kind of took it rough, but I got used to it till you know. Not really to do at home, so I just try to like try to get some work in, you know, hit off the tee, throw out the net, whatever. But it's you know. So, hard to go anyway. Yeah, so we're about 35 days into this. What have you been, have you picked up any new skill? Like, can, can you play the guitar now? Can you cook now? Or are you just playing more video games? How are you passing your time? Um, I wake up later. That's what I do. So when I wake up, you know, half the day's gone. Not much to do. Um, but no, watching a lot of Netflix. And, any recommendations? You know, Anything good you've been making your way through lately? Um, no, I watch some show called, like, The Money, Money Heist or whatever. And it's actually really good. Yeah, okay. It's actually really good. It's like a show. It's really good. I, I mean, you mentioned hitting off the tee and all that kind of stuff. Everybody, I know we're trying, you're, everyone's trying to stay in shape and sneak it and whatever, but I, I think we're all starting to get a little cooped up, a little a little bored. Um, so let us know, though, when you do transition into learning new skills and, and, and we find out that you're also a, uh, a really good chef or a, a, a painter or something <laughs> like that, uh, if this keeps going on for, for several more weeks. Um, yes. Oh yeah, no. I mean, we all we all hope not. Um, but I, I mean, it, it's 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 just nice to hear though that everybody's somehow making it through, and that at least for you, we're gonna get a chance to see you continue to play baseball at the next level. Uh, I want to ask you because you're wearing it. I mentioned at the beginning the chain. What goes into a, a, a proper chain for a game? I know you're not able to wear them in high school games, but if we if we ha- if you were able to wear it, are we looking at what you would be wearing in game? Do you have a different one for hitting, different one for no, fielding? No, these are these are like every day, every day. I'll take a shower with it. I probably go swimming with it for sure. So would you play yeah, also with it? it? I mean, like, or would you add? Absolutely. Would you add new chains? Does is there a different chain for different attitudes? No, I got I had. This one for like two years. Then I got this one like, like for my birthday, this past year before a season. So, I mean, they're my chain. I just rock them. I mean, no, I'm not trying to flex on nothing. I just like chains. So I just I wear them everywhere. If they catch me in a game when it's off, they're like, hey, take it off, and I'll take it off. So, so, so you're not gonna wind up with like a Miami turnover chain uh, with your face, you know, like a, know. A, a a jeweled version of your face or something like that uh, as you're running got, around second base. If I got some money, I will for sure rock, rock one. Deal. Okay, so fi- when, when you get drafted, we'll, we'll look forward to to you rocking a little Helix Scotty uh, in, in yep. the main. Okay, hey, we, how about this? Let's get this officially on tape. If you okay. get taken in the top ten rounds, okay. uh, will you buy a little a little diamond Scotty pendant chain, yeah, whatever it I'll, is, I'll, to rock? I'll for sure, buy another chain though. For sure, then I'll probably put some pendant on it. 
deal. No, no, no. It's, well, it's got to be a Helix one right now for the, okay. for the sake okay, of this yeah, interview. Um, I, I mean, yeah, if you're going in that top couple rounds anyway, you're going to have a couple of chains. You, you can yeah. buy You can buy one one little Helix one. There you yeah. go, folks. We've got a bold prediction. He's going to, he's, after a couple of years at San Diego State, he's going to be moving on to the pros. Um, you down to play for the Padres or is there a different team? Of course, I'm actually wearing a Padre hat right now. So. Ooh, okay. So, do you like the brown? Do you like the brown uniforms? Do you like the brown looks? Mm-hmm. It's new. It's new. We, we, we brought it back. So, I mean, it's, it's nice. nice. No, I like it. I, I'm. I, hey, throw it back to take it forward. Uh, who's your favorite Padre right now? Tatis. Of course, I like Tatis, and that's it. That's it. That's the only. <laughs> He's too it, good. He is, dude, and watching him play the show is funny as hell. He is. Have you seen any of the clips of him playing MLB The Show? I always see like on Instagram, like all like I'm gonna explore really all of like sports. And I seen Todd Tisa's swing really like not too long ago and it was beautiful. Yeah, he's a he's a, he's a character, man. Well, we we appreciate you sharing a little bit of your time with us and willing to predict some of the future. Um, folks, there's a lot of a lot of athletes out there that are gonna be representing San Diego really, really well at the next level. And this is just another one of them. You have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy. You too. You too, thank you.